All right, players and traders, John from Playing Trade Guitars. Here with a very special guest today, I have Jake. Jake and I have had the pleasure of trading back and forth a few guitars. He's always got the best stuff. We're about to show you something truly incredible. Jake has been waiting how long? I ordered this in January. <laughs> Jake's been waiting since January to show you what he's got in this box. So I'm gonna make it real easy. I'm gonna get out of the way and we're gonna let Jake get down to business. Let's see what's in there. Cool, yeah, well, I'm Jake. Uh, you can Google uh, White Shag Guitars. That's me on Reverb. Uh, or whiteshagguitars.com. I like to tell people I'm better at uh, selling guitars and taking pictures of them than playing them. So once we're unboxed, I'm gonna have John play this guitar because he's way better than I am. Uh, but yeah, this is the Silver Sky Nebula. Limited edition electric guitar nebula. So we're really hoping that that's what it is. Not like Golden Mesa or another color underneath here. Here's the kicker though, is we thought this guitar would show up on Monday and here we are filming on a Monday. Yeah. Yet you've been sitting how long with this box now? Uh, it's going on 72 hours that I have not unboxed this. So it's, it's been killing me. I'm chomping at the bit. Like I said, I did order this back in January. I ordered this back in January. So when I saw these were going crazy, you know, I follow all the great guitar shops around the world. They were going crazy during NAMM as these were getting announced. And then I saw John Mayer posted about it too. And uh, there were only one of 500. And I went on Musician's Friends website and it showed that they still had a couple left. And I was like, why not? Let's do this. And uh, here we are all these months later. I've had a couple other Silver Skies in the past couple months. Um, and what's cool is we'll talk about this in a bit. But I also have this private stock case here that is gonna fit the uh, Nebula and it really any Silver Sky perfectly. And you usually gotta spend like 5,000 plus to get a private stock a guitar, let alone a private stock case. And I just realized on my way driving here to unbox this guitar that I'm wearing a Fender shirt. <laughs> so the irony of that, but you know, there wouldn't be a Silver Sky without Fender. So oh. how about that? So let's put this down here. And I think it's white glove time. <laughs> right. gonna... Still a gig bag. <laughs> yeah, a gig bag. <laughs> Wait, Thanks. let me put Thanks, my white gloves. Yeah, where's wanna, your white gloves? I'm gonna wear a pair. All righty, cool. It's got the sticker on it that says limited run. Cool. All right, fingers crossed it's the right color and they didn't mess up. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh, they didn't mess up. Oh my god. Look at that. That is cool. Look at it change light in the camera just immediately as soon as we swipe that overhead view. What I'm really interested in seeing is when it was built because the ones I've been seeing on Reddit and a couple other sites, they were built in the last two weeks. Dang. So they've just been fighting to keep up on these. Yeah, these well they had 500 to build. Here, let's see. Looks like June 2nd, 2020. So this one's been sitting for a couple weeks. Long, it's the 29th of June today. Yeah, this is wild. It says right here, limited one of 500. They all say the same thing. Really great. I don't see any flaws or anything like that at all. I mean, it looks perfect and it's just so crazy. Like even the camera probably won't be able to capture every single color. But like I'm seeing like hues of gold and green, blues. Unbelievable, just watching you tilt it. Yeah. The color shift happen right before my eyes. This is cool. Can you believe that, Zach? Just looking at it as he turns it. From purple to blue to green to, yeah, I know what that kind of, looks like kind of almost like a golden yeah, like you see a gold for a quick second. This is cool. Incredible. How, how do they do that? I mean, are you familiar with the process? Because I have no idea how you would Oh my gosh, it. look at this. <laughs> oh, <no>. Ripped. <laughs> Whatever, it's got fingerprints now, it's mine. <laughs> Unbelievable. You need a new one? But so, yeah, supposedly this is like a, yeah, I do have more gloves, but it's like a, like car paint. It's, uh, it's called flip-flop finish, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so there's, you know, you'll see a lot of like iridescent cars driving on the road where it kind of does have like a different hue depending on how the light hits it or depending on how you're looking at it. And they apply that same methodology to this. And it's been done before. Like if you look at some, there's some Ibanez's that have uh, had guitar finishes or finishes like this and a couple other brands. But, uh, you know, when John Mayer asks, it's really cool. Unbelievable. And is the color itself 
out of the head of John Mayer, or is this something that was just it's, a special run? That yeah, I think this is just a NAM special run. If I'm not mistaken, though, I, based on what I read, PRS won't do this color in any other guitars per John Mayer, but I could be wrong on that. I don't know. I just, you know, I don't believe everything I read on the internet, but that's what I read somewhere on, uh, on Reddit. Well, congratulations, because you're a big Silver Sky fan. You bought Yeah, this, is, uh, this will be my third one. Uh, and this one I'm going to keep. Let me just touch it with a glove to make sure it's real. Wow. It's real. It's here. <laughs> it's all I need. I just need to yeah. know that it's really in the room, right? And then here, you hold it for a sec. And look, check this case out. So this this is the case that you get with it. Right. But the then, bag. So I have this private stock case from that first one that I bought. And like I said, it came from an NF3. And the NF3 was kind of PRS's precursor to uh, the Silver Sky because yeah. it had kind of a Strat style body. Mm -hmm. If you plop, pop it in there, it should yeah. fit perfectly. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, it's almost like it was meant for it. So how cool is that? You know, if I do a very deserving. Yeah, if I do decide to sell it one day, I guess uh, it'll be the only one with the private stock case. I bet. You'll be the only one that has it. But it's not for sale. It's not for sale. <laughs> well, you've waited this long. How could you think about selling it at this point? I know, right? Well, I'm gonna let the scalpers do their thing. There's a lot of them on Reverb, and uh, most of them are going for over 4,500 from what I've seen. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty wild. The case is beautiful. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Just looking at the little monitor lens right now, it's crazy how much color change. Yeah. But, but in person, it really is wild. <laughs> like even just like that angle right there that you said, it's just crazy. Yeah, watch this. It kind of comes over this way. Like just looking at it right now, it just looks purple. Like I don't see any other colors right now other than purple. Right. It's wild. Should we play it? Yeah. <laughs> Can I take it out here? Of course, yeah. It's in there nice and snug, right? Yeah. Let's see if there's paperwork in the, the case and stuff too. Oh, right? sure. I hope so. That's half the fun. Hopefully you get those cool tuning parts too. <laughs> there we go, we got all that. We'll keep it all in there. Keep all those hang tags and everything. It's cool. Just keep it sealed just like yeah. that, right? And there's the uh, serial. Should I register the serial number to myself? JN64 neck. So I'm pretty sure it's the same as what they've always been. They're set up with 10s. Okay, cool. Inspected by KS. Cool. I like that they set it up with 10s. And then it's 2020, so it should have a 35th anniversary sticker too. Yeah, here. 35th anniversary of PRS. Yeah, a little hang tag there. Cool. Way cool. I'll just get that serial number there and then it's So ordered in January and built. January. Yeah, yeah. I just remember sitting down. Second. I work from home, you know, before COVID, and uh, I was sitting down at my desk, and uh, all the retailers were just starting to post this. Like, I think CME did, Chicago Music Exchange, a couple other international ones too, mm -hmm. and I was like, that is that is so cool. And at the time, I hadn't gotten a Silver Sky yet. Um, oh. I was pursuing a couple on Reverb, but uh, I hadn't gotten one yet. And I just knew that that was really special, and figured, why not? It's cool. I've never seen anything like that. I'm I'm speechless. It is wild. I wonder if you can play a guitar with gloves on. You can take the gloves off to play it. I could probably do it. I mean, no, I no, not a chance. <laughs> I, I'd actually, I'm gonna take that as a challenge to see if I can play it with gloves, and then I'll take the gloves. The tone is in the fingers, and that's gloveless <laughs> fingers. It's me. touched it with my bare hands. There's no going back now. <laughs> it's okay. I'm a firm believer that guitars are meant to be played, not displayed. Right. But this one might break that rule. I Just do. this once, though. 
I, I, for the first time in my life, I agree with that sentiment wholeheartedly. I yeah. was, I'm hesitant to play it, but I also really want to play it. And this is playing cherry guitars, and you came to the right place if you want guitars to be played. So let's give it a go. But this is the only time this one will be played, okay? Oh, At least under my ownership. Now I gotta live up to that, no yeah. pressure. <laughs> I, I suppose I will take the gloves off, but. Let's at least get it tuned up first. Yeah. There's a historic moment. Let me move away from the fireplace. How about that? So I don't ding the headstock. You take the gloves off. So it's okay. I told you I'm taking it as a challenge. All right. Take the gloves off. Well tuned out of the box. Huh? <laughs> it is. It's actually already in tune. It's, it's because I let it acclimate for days. Oh. feels incredible out of the box. I mean, just absolutely like, this one is knocking me over. Yeah. I'd say it was worth the wait. <laughs>
cleans up, would you mind just hitting that overdrive off? this one away. There we go, yeah. But I'd probably keep it even then, I'll tell you the truth. Touch as possible. <laughs> one, one world. That was amazing. Well, this is definitely the nicest guitar I've ever played in my life. And what a gem in Jake's collection. He's waited long enough for it, so let it rest in its amazing uh, holy case here. What's the series case on this phone? Uh, it's. PRS private stock guitar. The guitars. private stock yeah, guitar. So when, so. when you buy a private stock guitar, you get a matching case. And this is not that case for this guitar, but I just happen to have it. I have, if you want, like I don't know if you want to wipe it, but I have a microfiber cloth. If you want to wipe it, yeah, I'll, I'll probably give it a whirl at home too. Yeah. Wow. When the camera's not watching. <laughs> well, what a what a treat! What a pleasure for you to ask me 
to play it for you first, and what a treat to have you here to unbox it and get your initial reaction. Oh, yeah. Um, Zach, I'm sure you agree this is, I mean, the camera actually does seem to do it some justice. I mean, but your eyes, nothing is like your eye looking at these guitars and watching them shape-shaped and yeah. change colors on them. This is one of those guitars you really just got to see in person. So I hope all of you get to one day, you know, maybe some of these uh, great shops will, will keep one. Yeah. It's not likely. Um, really, really cool. When they're truly hard to find, you'll sell it for exorbitant price down the road. At the end of the day, uh, everything is for sale, but not yet. I've been all over the place. Like sometimes, you know, we're very fortunate in Chicagoland to be very saturated with uh, a market of great guitars. Yeah, you're you're just one of the guys that we look up to in the area. Is just I mean, you've always got great stuff. Thank you. You always have great pictures and stories, and and just a fantastic five star guitar seller and trader. Ah, sure. Good guy to know in the area if you Thank want a quality you. guitar and if this doesn't prove it to you, you know, what else could it like, You've waited patiently and yeah. absolute pleasure to be able to feature this on our channel and, and play it first. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, everyone always asks me, like, what's the secret to, to moving so many guitars and, you know, doing what you do? And I'm not making a fortune doing this, but uh, it's just quick wit with people, uh, you know, a quality description. And it takes bitching pictures too, you know? Yeah. But that's all it takes. You just take good pictures, be kind to people, give them good deals, and uh, make good friends like this, and that's it. Well, you're a stand up guy, and uh, if only all the guitar sellers and traders were like you. Uh, always, ah. always wonderful guitars that you feature. And, Thank uh, you. Like I said, uh, a model citizen in the guitar trading world. Oh, so sure. we have plenty to pick your brain about and plenty to sure, learn. Sure, yeah. But this, this was a great opportunity to get you over here today. Yeah, and, I'll um, bring some more from my collection. I, I told John that I was going to do that today and leave some with him, but I, I forgot. I guess I was too excited to unbox this. But I, I have some others in my vault uh, that I will bring over. I happen to live not far from here. Uh, so we'll, we'll feature some more cool white shag guitars that uh, are not for sale yet. Incredible. Whiteshagguitars.com and White Shag Guitars on Reverb. Yeah, right? yeah, or just Google White Shag Guitars. I'm, I'm the only one. Excellent. Um, or I'm Jake. Um, you can find me on Twitter as well, too. There's only one Jake Kaltzbaum. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks so much for doing this. On behalf of Plain Trade Guitars, we got Zach behind the camera today. A very special guest, Jake, with White Shag Guitars, showing us his amazing, just freshly unboxed, Warren Smith Silver Sky Nebula. Absolutely phenomenal guitar. I had the absolute pleasure of being the first one to play it. I don't deserve that, but uh, it was amazing nonetheless. And so, Jake, thanks again for doing this. Of course. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and check out Jake's website and watch for his postings and uh, lots more to come. I'm sure we'll be trading more guitars with Jake in the future. Thanks for watching.